You gonna buy some stickers? You wanna buy some stickers? Alright, welcome back to another episode of Neon Swell. Thanks for tuning in and checking out this boat build. Now in last episode, I made some provisions inside the boat for a dive tank under the second and third bed extensions. I then moved to the front V-berth and dining area to work on some shelves and place a few mounting brackets. These shelves, which were made from half-inch night of corn, a few layers of 17 weight, will be placed on these brackets. Then to wrap everything up, I finished off the episode with the start of an idea to create a bed for the outside of the boat. Now for those of you who are new here, this is my channel, Neon Swell, and these are the episodes for my potentially seaworthy 22-foot sailboat which I eventually plan to take to the Bahamas from the east coast of Florida. Now along with a lot of hard work between these videos, I started a store and a Patreon account to help fund this build and the adventure. So if you get a kick out of this build and really want to see this channel grow, you have more than my blessing to head over to Patreon. And if you don't want to become a patron, you can always head over to NeonSwell.com. We have more than a few stickers there for sale, and all proceeds from these stickers are going to go ahead and support the build. Hi! You gonna buy some stickers? You wanna buy some stickers? Buy some stickers. Hi, who are you? <laughs> and if a little puppy exploitation doesn't work for you, then enjoy the rest of the episode. I believe we left off with the idea of building a bed for the outside of the boat. However, when I was sitting in here thinking about other ideas and the details that I could do, I ended up uh, thinking about creating a bed for the whole back outside the boat. Okay, so I just finished cutting out the piece, the Nitocore piece for the bed I'm planning on having for the, the seating situation outside. Now I'm getting more and more excited for this as it comes together. This is kind of a last minute idea, but uh, it's gonna, this little sliver fits perfectly on the bed there and creates a nice flat area all up here. So it could probably fit two, two people up here just perfectly. And this piece, I just checked it as well slides perfectly inside underneath um, actually directly underneath this uh, this part inside and it fits in there perfectly so I'm gonna go ahead and fiberglass this and uh, I'm excited this is uh, it's looking really good here so that's a, that's a large area for outside sleeping or just hanging out during the day at anchor so I'm stoked and let's get this done
once everything was cured, I went ahead and sanded and grinded the shelves in the outside bed extension. I then went ahead and fit them into their corresponding spots inside the boat. As you can see here, the outside bed extension fits nice and snug into its spot. Moving inside, I went ahead and tested the port side shelf fit, then ground down the angles for the brackets on the starboard shelf. So I'm back on the boat yard today, but instead of taking a look at the boat, I'm going to go ahead and shape myself a new surfboard. What I have here is a little fun board that I created with the Divinacell foam that I used inside the boat. I dubbed it the indestructible surfboard. Now, the other day I actually broke my surfboard in half right here. So I'm going to go ahead and shape myself a full new size surfboard out of real surfboard foam. Okay, so I just finished shaping my board here. I shaped this one to be a little bit thicker everywhere so it'll be easier to catch some mushy Florida waves. I'll go ahead and glass this when it warms up a little bit, but yeah, I got myself a brand new board for probably one third the cost. So it's another day here on the boat yard and I'm currently taking a look at the shelving for inside the boat. As you can see I have the shelf for the front V-berth right there and then the galley shelf as well. And then the extension that I made here for the bed on the outside of the boat. Now, I actually just got a shipment in for this router bit here. Now, what this bit is gonna allow me to do is eat away at the Nida core on the edge right here. And let's see if we put this up like so. And it'll dig away at the Nida core and I'll be able to backfill that. So, let's go ahead and take care of that now. Alright, so I just finished routing the outside bed extension. As you can see, there's the void right there. It looks pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and backfill that a little bit later today. So I insert the galley shelf with one layer of 1708 on the bottom side and go ahead and place this thickened epoxy on the top side. I use this stir stick here to put a nice precise smooth fillet on the top side of the shelf. Once it's all said and done and you put a grip on this shelf and shake it, the entire boat moves. And I can confidently say that this shelf has become a part of the structure of the boat.
Alright, so I'm back on the boat this morning, taking a look at some of the stuff that I fiberglassed yesterday. Now, I didn't catch much of this on film, but I kind of started to make a quick edit to the external seating in the back part of the boat. And what I did was add this flash guard here from Nitacore and a layer of matte tape. I don't actually plan to keep it this high. I'm going to grind it down and make it a little bit smoother and, and look pretty, but I added the barrier around the all the outside seating. When I was uh, sitting in there before, the backrest really wasn't that high and I felt extremely vulnerable, especially if I'm going to be taking this boat out on the ocean. So I added this, uh, this support and hopefully I'll keep water from just um, coming over this way and just make it a little bit more comfortable if I plan to take this across the Gulf Stream to the Bahamas. Now what it also adds is a little bit of a backrest for uh, seating underway and I think it's going to make the ride a little bit more comfortable. So I just wanted to show here the splash guard that I'm working on. I just routed out the uh, V's for thickened epoxy on the Nitacore here. And you can see it, that valley right there. I'm going to go ahead and fill that with thickened epoxy. Now I use this router bit here. And uh, this thing has saved me hours of time. You know, it was an $11 bit, but before I was digging everything out by my hand, this thing just spins and within... Uh, a few minutes you have everything dug out just perfectly so I went ahead and did the entire splash guard there I'm gonna go fill that with thickened epoxy and lay a layer of fiberglass over that so let's get that taken care of now So as hideous as this splash guard looks right now, it cleans up quite nicely in the future. Be sure and come back for that episode and the future episodes to come. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and if you have some extra time, be sure and go to neonswell.com and visit our store. Also, if you feel obliged, feel free to go over to Patreon and become a member of this team. All proceeds will further fund this build. Thanks again for watching, and see you next episode.